Hey guys, it's your boy Zay with Jiggies here again, and this is part 2 of the Thomas Mini's 20 pack. Now in the first part, I talk about, well, four of these. The Classic Annie Club out Giraffe Ben, and Classic Dash. So yeah, which one was your favorite from the last part? My favorite had to be Annie Club out, because Mattel had made wrong sound for Minis along with a troublesome truck and a few box cars. Now I hope you get like a a troublesome truck for minis in the future. I mean I do have a couple troublesome trucks for my Trap Master line as well as the Tommy player line. Whereas I got like a few. So yeah. Hoping collect like some more troublesome trucks in the future when it comes to any time it's merchandise because you can never have too much wrong stuff for these trains to pull, especially on long journeys in real life. So anyways, let's get on to part two, shall we? Now, let's start with, with number one, where this had to be one of my favorites of the pack along with Annie Clubbo. It's Luke. With his classic Luke. So, yeah, I'm very happy that Luke was included in this pack. Thanks to Mattel. Well, Mattel's choice, and Mattel did a pretty great choice of putting Luke in this pack. Luke had to be one of my favorite, had to be my favorite GI now against character. And plus, if you don't know who Luke is, I'll try to keep it brief here. He was a character we introduced in Blue Mouth and Mystery at the Duranidus. And he had a tragic backstory that he thought that he pushed the yellow engine into the sea by accident and he would be sent away if everyone find out. But it turns out it was actually Victor who was the yellow engine, so it was an accident. Lou felt better after that in the end. So, yeah. And I got to admit, Luke right here, Luke is like pretty cute. Now I also like love his design as well as his pea green paint. I also like how they like they design like his detailing, his lining, the name, it has the number twenty two on his side. But speaking of twenty two, some other Thomas Kids had that number, like Isabella from the pack, as well as Rebecca the Happy Ender, who was introduced in season 22 of the show. So yeah, I think Luke one of my favorite Nagi's ending characters even to this day. Plus, I did remember I had, well, a take and play Luke during my childhood that I got back in Christmas of 2012, all I see so Victor. So yeah, do you like Luke? I think Luke got to be one of my favorite GI characters alongside a hero. So what do you think about Luke? Do you like it or do you dislike it? For me, I really like it so much. So state about this in the comments below. Okay, here's like the second Nalgis engine that we will be looking at. It'll be another shared mirror character, and he was in Disney Hero of the Rails. This one here is Victor, but that's not just any ordinary Victor. Well, this is Construction Victor. So, yeah. So, as I stated earlier, I think Victor could be another GI killer that I like along with Kevin. Sandy does run the Steamworks, but the thing is, we never got like a proper introduction of this character. What if we kind of did in Blue Mountain Missy of this backstory of him used to be yellow and him he spoke a different language, which is Spanish. But after he fell into the sea, he was taking the Steamworks and got repaired, and he was painted from yellow to red because red was the color he chose. And that was his first English word. So yeah.
and play like this. Kind of like the design of this construction victor. You got like the belt, like tip belt with the tools that he has. Cinema belt that uses a tool belt. And I pretty much like the shades of blue. This kind of like light blue, kind of more like cyan. A well as like here, more like a red or blue. Now you got like the top, it's like a light yellow, which I don't know that represent, like a construction hat or something. And you got like the other side, with the tool belt is kind of the same. And the wheels are like a dark brown chocolate color almost. So yeah. And... I also do know that back in January earlier this year, I just bought a Trap Master 2 Victor on eBay with a gift card along with Duck. So yeah, that was just from a Christmas present that my mom gave to me. We want to give a big shout out to that since her birthday was yesterday, since I love my mom so much. Okay. Now it's down to the last Naoki's engine character. And this one is not Skalowi. This is Millie, who was introduced in King of the Railway. The, there was a good way to start the Andrew Brenner era, aka the Renaissance era. So, yeah. This one here is. This one here is Peacock Millie, which she looks like a peacock. You know, a peacock like a bird that that's like has like a lot of beautiful feathers around it. Come on, get my focus. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. A Peacock Millie. Since, I don't know what's my opinion on Peacock. But I gotta admit, the design of Millie here is pretty nice. And what I like about Millie the character saw is that she was the only female Nagis in an effort to introduce in the show. That's not, like, fair. I wish we can have, like, some more female Nagis engines. But that's not gonna happen anymore because of that crappy 2D Reaper that's going on. That's not fair. I mean, I love Nagis and can kill this, but we need some more female Nagis engines, bro. But overall, what I think about like this Peacock Melee or Animal Melee, what you want to call it? Well, pretty good. I also forgot. I also like the blue around it. It's like a dark it's like a light blue so I'm gonna put it a rest with the others and give me just one second okay this time is not gonna be like another steam engine this time it's gonna be on a diesel engine this one right here I am but or just Bird by itself, not to be confused with Bird the Arsdale engine. So yeah, this is Iron Bird right here. Or this is Space Bird. And I pretty love the design on this one. Why? Because I love the dark purple. The purple really suits it well. It still got like soda ironworks. I don't hold on camera focus. Let me read it. 
Yeah, except it got like soda ironworks. And also here, you can see like the aliens. Even though aliens are not real. And I pretty, pretty like the design on this model. Same thing with the other side. And also like the orange. I will add like the light wheels. And also too, I love that green face. Kind of sounds like something like a green light monster or like any other like alien monster. I love that green face. But tell you did a good job with this model. We we like this model. And here are the other alien bird models that I have. With are these two right here. With I would explain that I have one take along on it as of right now with this this one. What I don't know if this one is Ari or Bud, but you can turn down the comment. Whereas I presume in my opinion is Ari. And this one right here, I this one is Iron Butt in classic form. And here's a fun fact. This is actually my first Thomas and Friends minis. This is actually my first Thomas minis item that I got back in middle school. I love that so much that I want to collect Thomas Minis more for so many years, just like I did with Trap Master in 2019. So yeah, these are the only alien but much I have like them right now. Was I'm thinking I should I want to get like some more. So yeah, that was space I'm bought for you. So out of all these and this video I right hear, which one was your favorite? Was it Classic Blue, Constructor and Victor, Peacock Millie, or Space I'm Butt? Or but just alone. Which if you ask me, I think it was a tie between Classic Blue and Space I'm Butt because I love the design on this one, and I love that green face. But at the same time, I also like this Luke model too, since so Luke is another one of my favorite Nowgis engine, and my favorite GI Nowgis character, which I'm hoping that Luke will appear in my series, if I get the bug to buy one on eBay. Hope you enjoyed this video, so stay tuned for part 3. When you look at some more of these Thomas and Friends minis of this 20 pack, only exclusive to Amazon, this is your boy Zia signing out until Park Free. Bye.